Hey! Welcome to the weekend, and welcome to Bruce with Peck, in affiliation with Houston Beer and Houston Beer Guide. How the hell are we on a, on a lovely Saturday? It's going to be a great holiday weekend. Uh, this beer in front of me, I got from, uh, you know, my nice family in uh, Houston. Uh, they got it from one of my favorite breweries. You see right in front of me, Spindle Tap, uh, out of Houston. This one is called Ingrain 4. Uh, now I'm going to say two different things. On Spindle Tap's site, it says a barrel-aged imperial milk stout conditioned on coconut, cocoa nibs, and Madagascar and Uga uh, Uganda uh, vanilla beans. Luscious, silky, sweet coconut cream pie, chocolate fudge, and sweet vanilla notes with a whiskey chaser. Um, it's available year-round. I think you can get it for about $22 for a 50 milliliter. Uh, it is 10.6 on the Richter. You betcha. Uh, now, they, uh, their site says aging method was Woodford Reserve Barrels. Um, yeah. If you look at the back of this, it says um, Imperial Milk Stout aged in, uh, I don't know if it's Balcones, Blue Corn Whiskey, and Templeton Rye Whiskey Barrels conditioned on coconut, cocoa nibs, and vanilla beans from Madagascar and Uganda. So, similar, but yeah, there you go. This says Woodford Reserve. You just heard what I said there. Either way, you know, good whiskey barrels. Maybe, um, I don't know if I, I'll, I'll try to see if I can find that info later. If it says how long it was aged. But anyway, hell of a present. Uh, you know, very much looking forward to it. Hopefully your weekend is starting out great. Uh, let's see, how is it outside? Yeah, it, and now it has started to rain. So I guess no golf today. All right. Guess I got to drink more beer. Anyway. So let's get to it, shall we? You enjoying your weekend? You betcha. Let's get to it. All right. Do me the usual favor. Can you please help me out for the YouTube algorithm? And please crush that like button and subscribe button, especially if you haven't already subscribed. So that way we can always sit down with a cold beverage anytime you feel. It's not about me. All right, all right, all right. Please like and subscribe. Thank you much. Okay. Um, already looking... Probably a little syrupy, even though, you know, just barrel aging, but, you know, maybe a little bit from the vanilla beans, but, yeah, there you go. Take, take a good look. Um, ooh, it's very big whiskey on the nose. Gonna, gonna, gonna just say that right now. Uh, get kind of like a dark chocolate, like the cocoa nibs. Little flutter of vanilla. If you haven't seen sideways, that's that's called fluttering. Okay. And and maybe faint coffee. Uh, I'll have to see on the taste. So anyway, uh, here's to the weekend. Here's to the long weekend. I'm actually going to be going down to uh, North Park Beer in San Diego uh, later this weekend. So looking forward to that. Uh, so yeah, shout out to Spindle Tap. Shout out to North Park. Uh, let's drink this bad boy. No words or emotions. Let's go. Okay, good, multi, s subtle sweet chocolate, um, kind of oak, oak and whiskey on the nose, but um, that's what's so weird is, is, let's see, is this, oh yeah, conditioned on coconut, so yes, you're supposed to get coconut, so I, I think maybe, there you go, that's, that's what maybe is giving a little bit of more of the, uh, <coughs> Kind of syrupy look. I don't know if you can even see that. Kind of. See how there's a little more sediment on the glass than just a normal beer. I actually do get nice, subtle, sweet coconut. That's what the subtle sweetness is. Is that is that coconut. So that does come through kind of nice. Yeah, that's... What they said, luscious, silky, sweet coconut pie. I don't know if I get truly a coconut pie, but pretty close. Like, like it's. I actually get the coconut on this. That's that's great. Um, okay. And again, you get just a nice. That's that's. I like that though. Nice thin whiskey kind of taste at the end. All right. Um, real quick, let's let's do. Uh, if this was a blind beer, what would I? What percentage would I think? And what would I say the mouthfeel is? Mm -hmm. 
It does come, I'm wrong. Um, I probably would have guessed around 10%, because, yeah, it doesn't come off too boozy. It's more that rounded coconut. So I would have guessed about 10%, so I would have been close. Uh, and mouthfeel, you know, it's a pretty big mouthfeel because the coconut in there, the whiskey barrel aging, cocoa nibs. But no, I mean, it, actually, because it kind of like has a nice, clean whiskey uh, finish at the end, I'd say comes off like kind of just a reasonable medium mouthfeel, like, I don't know, 55 out of 100. So there you go. Um, I'm going to enjoy this for the next uh, minute or so, come back on here, see if there's any final notes on it, rate it, and then we can get the hell out of here and go do whatever the heck you want it. Hopefully you don't have rain like us, but uh, yeah, you know, just get make sure your beverage is cold. Hold on one sec. Alrighty, so, um, fun little time tasting this, uh, you know, for a couple minutes. Um, it's basically, I do get the coconut, I do get like a dark chocolate fudge. And I would say you do get, you get whiskey at the end, but you do kind of get like a, um, almost like a ever so slightly smoky, subtle coffee. Especially on the nose, I feel like you get kind of a smoky nose. Just a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna pour the rest. Yeah. Alright. Looks looks delicious. Cheers. Alright. So yeah, it comes off like 10%. About 55 out of 100 mouthfeel, so medium, a little bit more than medium mouthfeel for me. Some people would find this very thick. I don't find it too syrupy. It's not syrupy like I thought it was. It was. It's more, uh, it does have that nice coconut rounding to it because um, it's a, you know, uh, what does it say? Conditioned on coconuts, on coconut, if I can talk. So anyway, I'm liking it. Uh, it's got good elements to it. I like that it's got a, like, I do like a bigger whiskey finish but i some for some reason this the the thinner whiskey finish on this kind of comes off kind of nice because it's not a thin beer but like the end is not like our big sweet rounded uh whiskey you know kind of um ending to it it's more just kind of like a thin boozy whiskey um i don't know if that makes sense but i uh, by the way on on tap one guy just had to quote him said it's basically chocolate coffee milk with alcohol but he rated it a 475 out of five so Obviously, you know, that's what, what, what he digs. Um, all right, let's get to a grade. Very nice beer, very good dessert beer. Again, it's kind of like a chocolate coconut cream pie. A little bit, uh, not, I don't want to say it's creamy, but yeah. You know, dark chocolate fudge uh, meets coconut and, you know, a little bit of smoky coffee. All right, so... From Stellar down to Helno, we're going to give this, yeah, not quite tippity top, but it is absolutely solid. One of my favorite numbers, uh, I'm not going to say why, but uh, 96 out of 100, uh, very tip top of A, not quite an A+, plus, but for me, I, I, I definitely would, uh, would refer this to anyone, uh, solid beer, 22 bucks. For, you know, I think what comes off is like 17 ounces. You know, I like it. Um, but but see, there's where with the stouts, and I get it, you know, the whole process of having to age it and all the adjuncts and all that. So, you know, that's what you're paying for, and it's a quality beer. So, um, not bad, compared, especially compared to, like, ones you're going to pay 25 like the Bourbon County or, you know, uh bottle logic or something like that where you know you're paying 25 27 so um they're all comparable you know I, i'd say this is a deal if you're comparing all those so all right 96 out of 100 really nice coconut uh you know dark chocolate fudge with a smoky little coffee accent um go to spindle tap hey spindle tap if you want to send me more beer i'd love you sylvia props if you want to send me more beer i'd love you and uh, just last thing as always, please help me out and like and subscribe. It takes just a second of your time. It's free to you. 
especially if you haven't already subscribed. You know, you can come and go as you want. You don't have to deal with me every day, but hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate you. Um, I think my next beer is going to be some kind of sour from Bottle Logic, but I still do actually have another black lager from uh, uh, Houston. I don't know if it's Great Heights uh, that I got as a present, but I'll get to that later. Anyway, like and subscribe. Really appreciate you. See you on the next beer review. Happy weekend.